Well, good evening, good evening, good evening, Black and Married with Kids. How are you on this Tuesday, this Takeover Tuesday? I am so excited to be back with you again. This is Dunamis D, affectionately known to so many as Pastor D, and I am excited, or Coach D, because God has given me a mission to bring healing to the hearts of his people, particularly as a man and or woman together. So I am the founder of Dunamis Woman Enterprise. Hey, Lady Anita, I am the founder of Dunamis Woman Enterprise, LLC, and I work so closely with the, my daughter, Ariel Fuller, but our whole mission and our whole goal is to bring healing, coaching uh, through the services that we provide as you experience the healing power of God. Because it's not about religion, you all. It really is not. It's about relationship. God is a God of relationship. And how can we really have a relationship with him? Hey, Tiffany, if we can't have a wholesome relationship with one another, particularly as a black man and woman, you all, that was the whole goal when we were... Uh, uh, captivated and taken into slavery was to divide us as a people. Hey, Tiana. Hey, Bonita. So I'm excited about being with you again on this Takeover Tuesday. Uh, I thank Ronnie and Lamar Tyler for allowing and extending this platform. But you all, we have been in a started our 10 day healing for my soul challenge. And so I have been running my mouth basically every evening to uh, women all across the globe and it's amazing it's amazing hey Bonita from Oklahoma it's amazing how so many women uh, are beginning to open up about a subject matter that many of us don't even like to deal with must let's talk about and that's what we do over there at Dunamis Woman Enterprise we engage we we, we build relationships we we talk about real life and real issues because you know what there are real solutions, you know, and we all have them. Hey, Bruce. So we've been on this Healing for My Soul Challenge, um, dealing with betrayal and rejection. Betrayal and rejection. And I don't want you to look at that from a negative because we haven't been looking at it from a negative because it's not a negative. And I'm going to share some things with you, particularly as the woman. Um, and men, Bruce, if you're on here, please stay on here. Any man that pop on, because you know what? Whatever we deal with as the woman, it affects you all as the man. And whatever you deal with as the man, it affects us as the woman. And that's why we do what we do at Dunamis Woman, because it's about us really, really coming together as one in unity, in faith, in love, in harmony, and learning how to live where we can build a life and a legacy together, not based upon the tangible, but based upon who we are and our identity. And as a black people, hey, Clara from Portland, we are some powerful people. And that's what dunamis means. Dunamis means a miraculous force, a miraculous power, a miraculous strength, a miraculous ability to do exploits in the earth, not based upon what you have, but who you are. Women, it's in our heart, and men, it's in your mind. Women, it's in our heart, men, it's in our mind, your mind. So all of those things are one, it's just all how you operate in it, okay? It's all how you execute from it. But I'm telling you, when we're talking about betrayal, that deadly sword of betrayal wants to diminish you based upon who you are, deep down in your heart, your mind, and your soul. That's why healing is so important. And we've just been having a great time. So I want to give you some nuggets today. I know when I have been coming on Takeover Tuesday here for the last few weeks, I'm really dealing with the woman. And I have been explaining what the woman is versus a woman. Hey, Robin, all the way from Columbus, Ohio. So glad to be with you and you being in the midst here right now. And I want you all to understand the difference because the, as you being the woman, that means you are specifically assigned to the man that was given to you and the man was specifically assigned to you. So it's no longer just in general. You are not just a woman. He's not a man. But I'm really speaking to woman right now 
because we have more of responsibilities from an internal aspect of how we were built, how we were made, how we were created to be. And so with that, we get a lot of hits, women. We get a lot of things that come our way. Do you all agree? Do you agree, Cheryl? Have you had a lot come your way? Kayla, have you had a lot of hits in life and challenges? Have you all had a lot based upon who you are and just particularly as the woman, period? And a lot of things, we didn't even know what to do with these things because guess what? Life is going to be life. But I firmly believe from a spiritual perspective, living based upon spiritual principles, things come our way because we have the power, we have the power, we have the power on the inside of us. And everything that comes to defeat us, literally when you know who you are and you gain an understanding, which is why I'm here, you will build from that. That's really where your miraculous strength is. Hey, Clara, that's really where your miraculous power is. That's really where your miraculous ability is. So I'm here to empower you. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to cause you to be strengthened, not just from a shallow place in your soul, but from a place deep down within, within your soul, which is your mind, which is your emotions, and it's also going to determine where your will is channeled towards because when you become strengthened in the depths of your soul, things that you may have suppressed, things that you may have repressed, things that you don't even want to think about and you don't even want to deal with. If you don't deal with it, it's going to deal with you. So we're going to face it. We're going to confront it. Yes, Queenly. And we're going to conquer it. Can you all type that in there for me? Just let just type it if you really if you really in agreement say we're going to face it say we're going to deal with it and we're going to conquer it. You know, we're not we the woman don't run. We're going to face it. Okay? All the challenges that came our way, we're going to deal with that. No, we don't we we no punks. We don't run and we're going to conquer everything because what you can't confront you can't conquer. But what you can confront you can conquer. That's the ability that you have. All right. So for those of you all who just joined on, I want to introduce myself, reintroduce myself again. I am Dunamis D. D. Collins, and I am the founder of Dunamis Woman Enterprise. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. However, Dunamis Woman Enterprise is a faith-based organization and company that our mission and our goal is to empower, is to mentor, is to coach is to even pray with you, lead you into the way that you're supposed to go based upon your identity of who he created you to be as a man or a woman that you may experience. Thank you, Tasha, the healing power of God, which is dunamis in your life and in your relationships. That's what it's all about. And we're in the midst of our healing for my soul challenge. And I want you all to join me. This is the third day. And we're dealing with betrayal and rejection. So it's not too late because this is a 10-day challenge. And even if you go on the, my page, which is a private page, women only, mighty Christian women, if you are a spiritual uh, uh, believer and you believe and have faith, you know, you, I want you to go on there and join mighty Christian women You'll see Michelle posted there because reality is when you join that challenge, you can see all the things that we've been talking about and you can get a change in your life and be strengthened and empowered because there's so many women that are doing it right now and you are not alone. It's a community of sisterhood. Okay, so go ahead and, and join that. It doesn't cost you anything but your own me time, your own self time, your own investment in who you are that you may become greater and greater and greater in the things that God has called you to do for your life, for your family, for your marriage, and for your legacy. So how the woman, this is what we're going to talk about tonight, and I'm not going to be before you long, but I, I, want, to, I want to give you some nuggets from a spiritual leadership standpoint and, and as a spiritual life and relationship coach. I want to give it to you. I want to give you some things, and I want you all to go um, and, 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 and share, text some, another powerful woman, uh, share the post, uh, tell them, Hey, get on with black and married with kids. I'm so glad pulling you need to hear this because what you're going to get, you're going to be able to apply it. And I promise you it's going to change your life. You know why? Because it changed my life. 
And I'm not, wouldn't ever give you all anything that I did not see manifest from a spiritual perspective in my life, but I had to work the principles. I just didn't work the problem, okay? Work the principles. So many people work the problem and they don't work the principles as it relates to the problem and they don't get results. Oh, I think you all need to really need to grasp that, okay? Say you're not going to just work the problem, but you're going to work the principles. There are spiritual principles that you work within every problem that get miraculous outcomes, okay? And that's what you're here for, and that's what I do. That's what I give, okay? So how the woman, how the woman can see blessings in betrayal. How the woman can see blessings in betrayal. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, okay? Because the sword of betrayal goes so deep within your soul. And it makes you question yourself, okay? It makes you question yourself. So when it makes you question yourself, it makes you think lesser than yourself. It comes to make you doubt yourself. It comes to skew your vision, where what the angle you see life from, okay? You don't have to be married to be in the group. No, you don't, Clara, you don't. This is about the woman, okay? And when the woman is enhanced, and when she is purged and when she becomes strengthened, oh my God, she becomes a, a, a better wife. She becomes a better mother. She becomes a better sister, friend, whatever you are to other people. But the first person you got to be true with and have to be whole for is yourself as the woman. So no, you do not have to be married, okay? So as I was saying, betrayal, when it comes to hit you in your life, it, it comes to skew your vision. It makes you see life from a perspective where your belief system change. Okay? You, you had a, a greater strength because you were born with dunamis. You were born with this miraculous power. You were born and endowed within it. Did you know it? No, you did not. But you was born with it. But when it comes to skew your vision, it makes you see life from a perspective that not will also not will not always get the wholesome outcomes you want based upon who you are. So it comes to want to change that. So what I want to do tonight is shift your paradigm. I want to shift your paradigm when I'm talking about how you can see the blessings, how you can see the blessings. I want to tell you a story, okay? And, and it is it's a true story because it's my story. <laughs> okay? It's my story. Now I could tell you a whole lot of stories because I've been betrayed um, by women, a sister that was really, really dear to my heart as a friend. Um, I've been betrayed in relationships. Uh, I've been betrayed in marriages. I've been betrayed with people in ministry where I served and what I did for people. Um, I've been betrayed when I was in high school. I mean, it's, it's so many different stages and development of life that I was betrayed and I didn't understand the purpose of it. I did not understand. I, I asked myself the question, and, and let me know if you all asked just the same, same question. Why me? I asked the question, why me? You know, as much as I give and as much as I love, I'm genuine, I'm loyal. When, I, when you got a friend in D, you got a friend, okay? Uh, when you got the woman in me, you got a real woman. Okay, and you ain't got no shallow stuff here. Okay, I'm coming with everything. I'm your ride or die. Uh, any women, can any women relate to what I'm talking about right now? You know, um, I got your back, you know. But when you go out and you go and knowing my heart and knowing even from a friend's perspective or a, a mate's perspective, it comes to make you look within and say, what's wrong with me or why me? Stephanie, can you agree? Can you relate? Why me? You know, and then the miraculous question came after the why me, and it said, why not you? I, I heard it so, so clearly. Why not you? And I had to really think about it. Why not you? Because it was something on the inside of me that when the betrayal came, it did some things on the inside of me. When the betrayal came from when I was giving a true friend, and this is my story, she was a, 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 my best friend. And when she was able to look me in my eye, knowing she had slept with my husband, he's my ex-husband, he's my late, he's deceased now. But knowing when she had slept with him, 
my question was, out of all this time, how can you really look me in my face and not say anything and act like everything was okay? How can you look me in my face? Now, she never really told me, this is my story, my ex-husband told me. He, he told me about her. He told me about the women that I went to church with. Basically, all of them in the choir knew my husband from an intimate standpoint. Now, we were right at the verge of breaking up and getting the divorce, okay? But he confessed all this to me about X, Y, Z, B, C, D, A. And boy, when I, I mean, it was like I was so humiliated. I wasn't pissed, miraculously. I was more deeply wounded, hurt, and miraculously, I did not really go off, okay? Because it, it blew my mind. And you all, this is, come on now. I, I want you to stay with me. It blew my mind how women can look at me on a regular basis, knowing, knowing what they had already done, okay? Knowing. Who does that, okay? And as I have grown and as I have developed, and when I'm talking, this has been 30-something years ago, you all, but do you know it, the, the, the things that I have learned over the years? Now, the pain of it did not feel good. I'm not here to tell you that. But how I see see life as the woman is not how a woman sees life. See, those women were a woman, okay? I was the woman. Did I know that then? No. It was so many women around me who was living life from a general perspective because they didn't know who they were, but it was something in me, it was called dunamis, that caused me to be the woman that the target came to try to destroy. The target came to try to make me question myself. The target and the sword hit me so deep that it did not want to just affect me then, but it wanted to affect me futuristic. It wanted to affect my destiny. It wanted to affect my purpose. It wanted to affect my business. Oh, come on now. It wanted to affect the fact that I would not even be who I am today speaking to you if I had allowed their perspective of life to change my perspective, okay? Now, the miraculous part of it, which I know I am the woman, and I know I want you to be affirmed as well, because in spite of what happened, I still had the ability to do one thing, which is the most greatest thing that anyone could ever do, and that's love, L-O-V-E love. So I know we use that term so loosely, okay? But love that I'm talking about, because your vision and your the, your perspective of life and how you see things, it will cause you to walk in a love that nobody else can walk in. That's why I'm here on Black and Married with Kids, because I want to affirm you, not as a woman, the woman. You got a love that's on the inside of you that it was already spiritually endowed within you. But if you allow any betrayal in your life, I'm not talking about from a marital perspective. I'm talking about from a life perspective, because with life comes betrayal. With life comes rejection. Nobody is exempt. You can't get away from it. But what you have to do is sit down and look at your life and say, how did this come to me? And when it came to me, what the goal and objective was, was to make me more of a woman and not see myself as just any general woman. See, that's what the confidence is in me. And let me tell you something. A lot of men may be intimidated by that, and a lot of women may not even know how to handle that. So it makes my circle of influ influence very, very small, okay? But I'm okay with that because I recognize who I am. I am a dunamis woman. I am a confident woman. I am the woman who has been assigned to anything in life that has come my way because I know I have the power to endure, okay? So before I leave you tonight, and I really want to admonish you, join the healing challenge. 
Go to that bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, Healing Challenge. It will bless your life because it's blessing mine. I am immensely blessed by the women that are in there and hearing their story. But not only that, they're conquering, they're confronting, they're facing things that they thought was so over with in their life. But because of who they are now, you don't just come out the gate a dunamis woman. You have to grow spiritually to become a dunamis woman, knowing who you are, knowing how to walk in it, knowing how to love in it, knowing how to gracefully embrace everything that comes your way. And even when it comes to betrayal and rejection, let me tell y'all something. I, I, I actually have a tattoo on my back. I got it probably about 20 years ago. And their eyes, they're my pair of eyes. And I got it on my back because people say, why you got it on your back? Because I see so much stuff that go on behind my back. And because I'm still loving, nobody don't know that I know. Because I still treat them with respect, nobody don't know that I know. Because I don't go back and talk about it, nobody don't know that I see what I see. See, just because I see what I see don't mean I have to say. And everything you see, you don't have to talk about, ladies. Everything you see, you don't have to say nothing. Just be. And that's how you see the blessings in betrayal. The blessings is not about your money. The blessings is not about your house. The blessings is about no matter what comes your way, you will have adoration. Because according to the Hebrew, that's what bless means. I will adore you. When he told Abram, I will bless those who bless you. That meant I will adore those who adore you. So D, when the betrayal come, I adore you because of how you handled the betrayal and because of how you handled the betrayal, people will adore you because of the adoration that I have for you. Oh, you, I hope y'all got that. I, ho I hope you got that. Okay. I'm going to repeat that for you because I want you to marinate it. I want you to get it. Blessings means adoration. You are adored. You are adored as the woman. I want you to walk in that confidence. You are adored. And because you are adored by God, when betrayal, rejection, life comes, because you handle it with grace and power as a dunamis woman, not only will he adore you continuously, but those who are around you will adore you because they don't understand how are you handling it because you see life from a different lens than most people see. I don't see life from the lenses of what normal people see or what they see. I see life from the way he created me to be. I see life from a powerful woman's perspective. I don't have to say anything about everything I see. I want y'all to put that up there for me. Say, you don't have to say anything about everything you see. You don't have to say anything about everything you see, and that's where we as women, we go wrong. And I know men can attest to this. We shut, we, we, we talk too much. Bottom line, shut your mouth. Shh. That's, that's, that's where your power lies. That's how you see. That's how you see. That's how you see betrayal from a whole totally different perspective. That's how you see the blessings in it. You don't have to say everything. Ain't that right, Carolyn? You don't have to say everything. So I want to leave you with this, Okay. I want to leave you with this. Know that any aspect of your life that you have been betrayed as the woman, but you got to see yourself as the woman, not a woman. You got to see it. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. It will lead you to your destiny. It will lead you. It's purpose in the betrayal, but you got to get the purpose in the betrayal for it to lead you to your destiny. It's inevitable as you see life from a holistic perspective, holistic perspective, no matter what comes your way, it's going to work in my favor. You have, to, you have to know that. You have to believe that. Whatever comes your way, yeah, Michelle, shh, you have to know that it's going to work in your favor. You got to see it. Whatever comes your way, it's going to work in the favor of your husband. It's going to work in the favor of your marriage. It's going to work in the favor of your life. It's going to work in the favor of your legacy. Why? Because in that marriage, you got the power. You got the dunamis. It was endowed within you. It was taken out of man, and it was given to you a great portion of it. Does he have dunamis? Yes, he does. 
but because we have substance to bear pain, we have substance to go through some things, we have the substance to handle life in a whole totally different matter, God is trusting you with a greater responsibility. You got the ability to respond. Well, I am so excited about your future. I will be back with you next Tuesday, and I want you to tell your friends, tell your the, the, every woman in your circle of influence, share this post, and I want them and yourself to sign up for the Healing for My Soul Challenge, and it's going to be great, and it's going to change your life, all right? I am Pastor D. I am Dunamis D. I love you. Take, take, take over. Take over your life. Take over. Take it all back. Take your power back. Take your strength back. And take your ability back. Why? Because you are a dutiful woman. See you next week. God bless. Talk soon.